Hello and welcome to Earth Materials and Economic Minerals, the course where we're going to learn what Earth is made of, those minerals, those rocks, those crystals, and why we care, how we can use those resources in our economy, in our civilization, as we build buildings, as we um, build cell phones and computers, as we construct roads, right? how we can use these um, Earth resources. So if you want to go into earth resources as a career path, this is how you can make a lot of money because this is what society really, really needs to operate um, and advance. So I will share my screen and we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so materials of solid earth, minerals and crystals. We're focusing on the basics this week. Um, first off, what are earth materials? Well, earth materials are those things that earth are made of excluding the biological components mostly, right? So we're talking about the solid parts, the rocks and the minerals, the soils, the fossil fuels, the water, the atmosphere. In this class, we're mainly gonna focus on those solid materials, the minerals and the rocks. And to do so, we have to understand their origin and how we can identify them, right? So it all comes down to how they're made and what they're made out of at the atomic level, what elements they're made out of, what ions are bonded together. Um, and this affects their physical properties and how they undergo physical changes, right? When they're under intense pressure and temperature inside of earth, um, what sort of changes do they undergo? What properties change and how can we use those changes, those properties to our benefit? Now, just to harp on why earth materials are important a little bit more, and I'm gonna do this throughout the semester, is that humans have literally evolved. Our civilization is defined by how we can use earth materials, right? If you think about how we define ages, ages of human civilization, going back to the stone age, the bronze age, the iron age, now we are in the, uh, the technology age, right? It's all defined by how we can use and manipulate the earth materials around us. And going back to the basics, rocks have provided the main structural material for our buildings, throughout time, right? And I'm not just talking about those ancient rock huts, I'm talking about today, right? Concrete is made with limestone and sand, right? So even today we rely on earth materials to build our buildings. Um, this isn't to say that all earth materials are good for us. We also need to understand the ones that are bad for us. For example, asbestos minerals can be hazardous to our health. So by understanding these mineral properties, we can figure out which ones are good for us, which, one can, which ones can advance our society, how can we use those, and how can we stay away from the ones that are not so good for us? 